Hey everybody, it's the program. Here we are on TV. Once a day, every day, your daily hour with me again. It's Wednesday. Hey, somebody here. This is me and the guest today. Let's see you. So, here we go on another day of the program. We've been having some yeah, wild things happen. There's been those protests. People getting teased. Chapels are outside the studio there. And, uh, we're just trying to see what's going to happen in this, in the, around, I guess, so we can probably make some phone calls, phone calls from the all, probably check out the thing. Do some stuff like that, see how it works out. Let's check the messages. Thank you, Dan. Hey, I just want to let you know I was watching the show. The show's over. And... Back to all the other things that I was doing while watching the show. So, just want to let you know, saying hi. Stuff like that. Okay, bye bye! Dan yeah, didn't help, what are you saying? I watched the show. Everybody, I guess you guys called, if you're watching the show, call the number. You say, hey, I'm watching the show, just be like Dan did. Say, hey, I watch the show. Hey Daily Hour, this is Jessica calling. Um, I have some questions about John Horseman oh, and um, all that sad news. I know it was kind of late, but um, I need to get down to the bottom of this, I suppose. Call you back, Spice. Yeah, I gotta call and tell Jessica about John Horseman. It's too bad. John Horseman is, he, he passed away. Uh, he was, if you guys didn't know, he was on the on the sh on the show, he was on um on, on TV for a long time. He had the show called Mental Health Solutions. He would just do that and that kind of stuff on the camera for a long time. And uh, he passed. He go watch his episodes on on. Hello. 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 It's the program. Hi. So John Horseman died. Yeah, John Hussman, yeah, he, he died a couple days ago. That's so tragic. What happened? Yeah, he had like, he had like a heart attack or something. Uh -oh. Oh, sure. Wow, but I didn't think he'd ever die. I thought he was always going to be on TV. Yeah, he died. He was on TV for like 10 years. And I watched all his shows and, and I was with him for his funeral. Uh, were there people there? There and his sister was there. So. Wow, that's so sad. TCTV lost a great person. Yeah, that was like the best show on TCTV. He was an inspiration. Mm -hmm. Well, my condolences go out to everyone who's sad about it. It's so sad. Yeah, I went, I went back and I watched some of his episodes on YouTube. You can see those on YouTube. That's good. Uh, that's me. Did he do that? He put them on YouTube himself? Um, I think Freddie helped him out. You what? Freddie helped him. Oh. Uh, <coughs> wow. The YouTube video, his show is pointy. He's now that he's dead. He watches it and you're like, whoa, this is the dead guy talking. Yeah, that's really weird. TV looks like that. What's going on in the show? There's no guest. There's no guest today. They didn't show. It was supposed to be Martise. She didn't show up. Fellow show. Who is supposed to be there? Martise. Martise. Yeah. What a freak. <laughs> oh no. G team. Yeah, G team. They're not here. That sucks. Did you hear about the riots in Olympia? Oh. What happened? The capital, uh, on the capital campus, people got tased. They got what? They got tased. Tased? Tased. Holy shit. They didn't make it to national news? I haven't, I'm really bad at keeping up with national news. You don't see it on the newspapers? I'm gonna look it up right now. That is super, super bad. Why would they ever do that? They were blocking the legislature. Somehow. They're trying to stop the legislature. For what? I don't know. 
Shoot. There were hippies, the hippies trying to stop the legislator and they were lying down in front of buses and then they got paid. God, that is so bad. I mean, you hearing the blood about pepper spray, but tasing, I didn't think it, I don't know, I didn't think they'd ever really do that. It seems like it's, it's too tedious, you know, to go around and, like, do that to people, but they put the effort into it. You think, That's gnarly. You think tasing is worse than pepper spraying? I think it's, I think it's worse. I think pepper spraying is really bad, but tasing is just so, it's, so brutal. Like, why? I don't know. It, it just reminds me of like cattle prods or something. You know? Yeah, I think tasing goes away though. Once you get if you get tased, uh, you just tase real fast, and pepper spray hurts you for a long time. Oh yeah. Maybe. You know, like people died died from tasing. I guess they died from pepper spray too. But well, how do they die from pepper spray? <laughs> I don't know, like allergies and stuff. It's possible this happens. Allergies. I think yeah, I'd like, rather be tased than pepper sprayed. You would rather be tased? Yeah. Yeah, pepper spray. I hate, I hate the, you know, like, <laughs> choose either one. It's not, not a very good thing, but, yeah, tasing, tasing freaks me out. I'd, I'd rather endure, like, a really itchy thing all the time. You'd rather get pepper sprayed? Yeah. Yeah. I Knock on wood, I don't want to actually get pepper spray. Did you see uh, any of the riots in LA? I heard they're, they're rioting down there too. Dude, last night was crazy. I, I was um, driving around the downtown area on the freeway, and at some point there was about eight helicopters in the air, and the um, you know, first was kind of like, yeah, that's really weird, and I was laughing, like, this is so funny, it looks like Armageddon, and then everyone just kind of got silent, and the traffic stopped, and it really did look like Armageddon for real, and it wasn't funny anymore, it was just like, lights everywhere, you know, like, ghetto birds, helicopters everywhere, like, spotlights, and no one knew what was happening, and I really thought for a second that the world was going to end, but when I found out later that it was like, I keep missing, um, and they were just doing, they were finally, like, kicking people out, which is really surprising because LA is in one of the locations where they were tolerating it really well and um, letting it get big and everything. And, and then they they just cleared everyone out last night. Apparently, I don't actually know what the result was, but it, it, it looked pretty, pretty crazy. They cleared out, they used pepper spray and stuff and took them out. Where, where were they staying in LA? Um, they were... Uh, fuck. I forget the building, like, Capitol building, the downtown, you know, government building. It was right by the train station. Well, um, did you see it, though? No, I didn't. But it was stopping traffic. Like, that's how crazy it looked. Like, everyone just stopped to look at the sky. Because there were so many helicopters. Like, just, you know, on the scene. It was... It was Crazy. Oh, it says online that 300 people got arrested in the area got fenced off. Yeah. I don't know, the whole Occupy thing has, has been really heavy on my mind because I don't, I don't necessarily think it's, it's being that effective, but I'm usually, like, for every, everyone who wants to be out there and, like, you know. It's a free speech thing, and it's just kind of crazy that they're they're really silencing people with violence. I don't really like that. Are you still there? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> they should. They shouldn't. Uh yeah, they, sh they shouldn't be there in the first place though, right? That's why they're getting attacked by the police. You don't think they should be there in the first place? Or they're breaking I, the I law. I think they should be being attacked because that's the point of a protest. They should what? They're supposed to be being attacked. If they don't get attacked, then what's the point of doing anything? And then they, they get attacked and then people are like, Oh, whoa, they're getting attacked. Look at that. That's that's what, what protesting is all about. Yeah, it's true. I mean, but I think that 
there's not a lot of people that have that mindset for for, pro, for protesting that maybe they there's there's something else trying to be accomplished. I think they're supposed to get yeah. I think once they start getting tased, that's that's what got on the news. Like nobody knew about Olympia that much, and then people started getting tased. That's in the news, so people should try to be. If, I think the protesters should be trying to get the to cops and be like, "Hey, cop, why are you tase me? Come on, tase me!" Like that, and then they get tased, and then they're in trouble, and then the cops get in trouble. The cops are what? You try to get the cops to tase you, and then you say, "The cops are tasing me. I didn't do anything." And then, and then that's how protesting works. Yeah, I mean, I I think it's a vicious cycle, or it can be a vicious cycle, but. Um, and especially because it doesn't seem like there was any 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 initiative at the beginning of it to make it make sure it wasn't going to be a vicious cycle, you know, that it, it was going to accomplish something a little bit more than just getting cops, you know, on you. But yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. That's what they're doing. Uh, yeah, they're they're occupying the capital now. That you should check out those videos. Uh, is there anything else happening in LA? You see any celebrities yet? What? You see any celebrities? Oh, celebrities. Um, see celebrities. No, I haven't seen one in person yet. <laughs> what? Sorry. What about when you were when you were a kid in LA? Did you see celebrities? Oh wait, did I see a celebrity? Well, I went to um, a little like eight type of a thing for a DVD release for the movie Super Eight. My friend invited me. She gets like passes to things like that and. There are lots of celebrities there. It was really ridiculous, actually. <laughs> it was kind of like a pseudo, like, celebrity sighting spot, but everyone, there's, like, a lot of people dressed very casually, too, and it was really funny. I, I liked that event. <laughs> Did you there see... Was there was some lady behind me talking to her, her kid about her new show that she's on and stuff, like, weird stuff like that, you know? L.A. stuff, yeah. What celebrities, what celebrities did you see at the, at the premiere? What did you say? What celebrities did you see at the premiere? Um, I'm really bad with names. I just saw some of the people that were in the movie. Oh, I don't even know. Well, uh, did you see Spielberg? No, I didn't. But I wonder if he was there. I mean, it was just a DVD premiere. So I don't know. It wasn't that big of a deal, you know? He directed um, it, yeah. Oh, yeah. But I saw the I saw the actor. I should look up his name. He was fantastic in that movie. Um, I saw all the actors there. He was sitting in the back. <laughs> Great. Um, yeah, I, I'll make sure I tell you when I see a celebrity for real, for real. Like I want an actual encounter to tell you about. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you, are you watching the show at all? You keep it up with the show? Yeah, I do watch it sometimes. I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure out where to start and go on a stint with it and just keep at it, you know, but I'm not sure where to start that yet. Do you recommend an episode? Did you, I haven't watched the Thanksgiving one, was that one fun? Yeah, that was good. Uh, I don't know which one, which one was the better one, I think I can't remember what happened. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've been watching here and there. I have like, um, all, like time where I'm doing schoolwork and I just put it on. It's good for that. Yeah. There's nobody here in the studio. I don't know what I'm going to do for the rest of the day. Yeah. What do you... How long do you have in the show? 45 minutes. Oh, that's not bad. I have 45 minutes left. 35? No, 40. 30? 40. 30. 40. 40. Four. <laughs> Are you having a full time with the show? Is that you help me out for the full time? I don't know what. Yeah, I'm. I'm not thinking about maybe I'm gonna get. I need to start playing some games or get some. Uh, get some footage from show some street team stuff, but I just never do it. We're gonna do street team. I want to get street team stuff. You should take some street team stuff in LA and send it to us. We can get it off the computer. Do you think I should? Yes. Okay. That would be fun. You can send us stuff in, on the internet. I, I don't have a um, camera, but I do know a place where I can get one, and um, that sounds like a good idea. I think I'd have fun with that. You should get one and then do, do uh, paparazzi. Paparazzi? <laughs> Go try to find some celebrities and get them on tape. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It'll 
still be celebrity watch streaking. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead and search and look for celebrities. Try to find out where they hang out. What'd you say? Find out where the celebrities go and then wait there with a the camera. And then go, yeah. At like nightclubs or something. Oh, a nightclub? I don't want to go to a nightclub. That's too much work. You just wait outside I'll the nightclub and then you wait for them to come out. I'll just, I'll just walk along Hollywood Boulevard. How's that? Okay, that's where all the, I don't know if the celebrities are going to be there. That's where all the tourists are. I think the celebrities will avoid that spot. Okay, well, I'll start off there and then I'll get some weeds. Alright, yeah, get some, get some weeds. I'll be, get, and send it to us on the internet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay. Alright, okay, thanks Jessica. We'll talk to you later. Okay, we'll talk to you later. Yeah. Okay, bye. Well, that was Jessica. We'll talk to her for a minute. Some of the show for you. There's a quarter of the show to Jessica here. Let's call Ready. See how the production name is going. Ready. 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 And then we can call, who's supposed to be here tomorrow? Oh, tomorrow's the first day of December. Oh, and our chief's supposed to be here, didn't show up. Pretty sister. Tomorrow it's Aviva. Hey, buddy. Hey, how's it going, program? Hey, we're doing good. How are you doing? Doing good. Uh, I was about to play some Skyrim. Whoa. On yeah, Xbox? I'm got to in the studio with you. There's nobody here. No one here? Then they, they didn't show up. It was supposed to be Martise. She didn't show up. Oh, man. Did you try calling her? Not yet. I saw her today. I didn't know she was supposed to be on the program. I would have reminded her. Yeah, maybe we should call her. Yeah. Well, uh, how's it going over, over there? You got any, uh, topic? No, we talked to Jessica about, uh, I guess LA had their, uh, the Occupy Riots thing too? The Occupy Pie? Occupy Riots, everybody's rioting now, they're getting maced and stuff everywhere. Oh, rioting, cool. Yeah, rioting right now? Yeah, rioting. Right now they're rioting? Yeah, they were, but they're rioting. They were before, like yesterday they got kicked out of the camp and they're rioting at the Capitol building and they got tased there. Oh, the tasing. Yeah, I heard about the tasing. Hey, yeah, would you rather be tased or pepper sprayed? Finally, they did something that got the cops angry, huh? Yeah. Would you Would you rather be tased or pepper sprayed? Um. What? Would you, if you had to be tased or pepper sprayed, which one would you think they would be less worse? I would be pepper sprayed. I would rather be tased than pepper sprayed. Me too. That's what I said. Jessica said she would rather be pepper sprayed. I think that'd be it would hurt for longer. See that? Yeah, what's that? That's Tom's uh that's Tom's gun solo from the other night. You remember that? The gun solo on the phone? Oh yeah, yeah. I just captured that episode just now, I just got to see that. Oh great. Well, yep. So how's the production end going? Did we think I ask you that already? Oh, yeah, production end is going great. Um, I figured out a way to do the stuff from home again, so uh, it's a lot easier for me. Oh, what'd you do? Um, I got one of the little, like, decks that they have at CCTV that you can check out and capture DVD tapes, but it also has RCA input, so I can just plug the regular VCR into it and use it to go to the computer. Oh, great. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. Well, we have about, I have about 40. They're doing on Zoe, and uh, Zoe, and Michaela, and a bunch of other people. Zoe, and he's on the show. They're all down at the craft store selling crafts that they made. Oh, how's that going? It's pretty good. I got a cool backpack with a, with, like a triangle. At Evergreen? Yeah. It's a commercial break. What? Commercial break. Oh.
Hey, we're back. Hey, welcome back to the program. Yeah, I don't know what else we're gonna do. I'm gonna we gotta start figuring out some kind of game or get more street team stuff for these days when when there's nothing to do, that much to do, you know. Hmm. Yeah. I can't believe Ricky didn't show up. Well, you could give her a call. I don't think she's at class. She's taking um, the class with yeah TCCD tonight. All right. That's. I guess I'll do that. Yeah. All right. Well, let's see. Anything else? I can't think of anything else I've seen on the streets. Yeah, Matisse did a big dance thing today. Dance. I'll talk to you later, I guess. All right, bye-bye. How much longer is on the program? What? How much longer you got on the program? 40 minutes. Cool. <laughs> Sounds good. The first commercial break just ended, yeah. What? That was the first commercial break. Oh, right, first first break. Okay, cool. Yeah, well, I, want get, I want to get the background tape going. Yeah, um, we can... You win. Are you free tomorrow? I bet I could help work on it tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow tomorrow before 5 o'clock. Aviva's going to be here at 2 o'clock, and, and I can do work at 5 o'clock. Okay, cool. And I'll, uh... Yeah, I think we can make a good background tape. we got to make the clock. That'll be the toughest part for that, but it won't be that hard at all. All right, we'll see you uh, later tomorrow, but we should meet here tomorrow at 1 o'clock, maybe before Viva gets here. Yeah, I'll just make it, like, make it with the... What is it? The Photoshop and put it in Final Cut Pro. Okay. Okay, cool. Alright, Viva. Yes. Yeah. Alright. Okay, bye. Yep. Oh, uh-oh. Alright, okay, let's call... Whoa, we got arrested from Bird just now? What the... What is, is this a text message? Bird just sent us a text message just now, so because we, we should call him and see if he's sending us text messages in the day. Hey, Kenny. Hey Bird, it's the program. Yeah, how you doing? Hey, good. It's program. We got your text. I'm um, the program doing? Are you still there at the Capitol? I'm not. No, I left. Yeah, I'm. I'm doing other stuff. I'm in another place. Did any? Did anything happen at the Capitol today? Um. Yeah, people were at the Capitol when I was there earlier. Um, where I saw a, uh, a legislator there um, asking some people who uh, who were there also what what 99% means. So it was kind of interesting. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so the legislators they don't know what that means. Um. Say again. They don't know, already know what 99% is. They haven't like seen the news. Um, I can't understand what you said. Oh. How do they not know what 99% means? Yeah. Um. I. I don't. I mean, 99% might mean something different to everyone, in my opinion. So, I and I, you know, it's yeah. I mean, I'm I'm really glad that legislators are asking people what 99% means and I hope they take their time in figuring it out and maybe try to figure it out for themselves too rather than just like depending on one person's statement you know for what it means like ask a bunch of people you know don't just ask one person or one group of people what does 99% mean to you what does that you know idea mean like ask a lot of people like ask everyone you know talk about it with everyone you yeah. Know? So, yeah, 99% represent. Well, so there was no more tasings after that first day? What's that? There was no more tasings or arrests after the first day? Uh, I think there were, were some arrests last night or, and yesterday, but I don't, I don't have the full scoop on that. 
so I don't know. I don't. I really don't know. Um. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, let's see. When are you? Your schedule? You gonna be here next week, man? On the on Pearl Harbor Day on Wednesday. What's that? You're scheduled for the program next Wednesday on Pearl Harbor Day. Okay, yeah. Oh, today oh, is the Pearl Harbor Day special. Wednesday, Wednesday 2 p.m. Pearl Harbor Day. Today, today we're doing we're we're doing Pearl Harbor Day because we do stuff a week in advance. So today on TV it's Pearl Harbor Day. Okay, I, I'm still having a hard time hearing you. It's it's today is Pearl Harbor Day for the viewers. Oh, today is Pearl Harbor Day. Well, um, yeah, let's let's honor all the people who were killed, you know, on Pearl Harbor Day, and uh, you know, hope that we can see a world that, um, you know, is is much better where people don't get killed in war ever. Yeah, that's a good good goal, bud. So, okay. you know, honor their deaths by by working for peace. So, hey, how's Katron? I see he, he uh, fell off the wagon. Is that right? Or? What's that? Katron? Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah. He, he's not doing well. Katron is not doing well. And if you see him, give him, give him love. He needs a lot of love and support. He's really struggling. So we got to figure it out. So was he back? He's back into drinking. I think. Say again. He's drinking again. I think he is drinking again. Yeah, yeah. He's been hanging out with his drinking buddy, who's just a really horrible. Man. They're pretty much like attached at the hip at this point. They. So I don't know what to do about it. I try to tell him. Thing at my house, and yesterday he called. That he asked if his buddy could stay at my house as well, and I said no. I said absolutely not. You know, there's a lot of reasons for that. One of them is that his drinking buddy has been horribly abusive to me and to other people, and you know, I'm, I just don't want him around. I I, I don't want that. Can you try really to stay at your house? I feel like the, the drinking buddy is kind of like an accomplice to murder because of Patron's uh, stage and all that. You know, he's really, you know, he might be late stage, his internal organs might be shutting down. And so I, I think it's like, you know, giving him alcohol when he's trying to quit drinking is like murdering him. So, uh, you know, I, I would like people to think about things in that way. Is that, uh, is Katron, or is Katron still staying at your house? Um, well, he didn't, he didn't stay there last night because he was with his drinking buddy, and so, you know, they were drunk. And I've asked Katron not to stay at my house when he's drunk, basically. I can't, I can't handle it. It's, mm. it's uh, his energy really, really messes with my system. Yeah. So, it's. It's harmful to me. It's too harmful to me. So, you know, yeah. it's like he's so he's so drunk and anesthetized. He doesn't realize how ob obnoxious he is. And like, so the only way I could like cope with it would be to get drunk myself. Yeah. Hey. And I'm not gonna. Do that. Well, how's the camp? Are you guys happy with the with the protest at the Capitol, or you think they went well? The rest of the camp. I'm happy with it. I, I wish more more people were getting involved. And you know, I anyway. Yeah, it's good. There's a lot of room for improvement, but it's definitely good. Is there anybody that's in jail still from that? What's that? Is there anybody that's still in jail from that? Or anybody that got arrested that's still in jail? I'm having a hard time understanding. Did everybody did did, did everybody get out of jail? Are they, uh, what, what, what's the zero? Are, are people still in jail? Did they get out of jail? Oh, you know, there might be a couple people still in jail, but I'm not sure. 
I don't. I do not have a good jail support update. Okay. So, I'm sorry. Uh, well, what else? Uh, anything else happening? Um, see anything else happening? Uh, my friend Scotty Yost uh, had a a pretrial sort of appearance today in in court. And so that went well, and he'll have a, a readiness hearing in, in January and then a trial before a jury, and hopefully the jury will um, exonerate him. He's being charged with assaulting a police officer, and, um, and the truth is that it's the other way around, that he was assaulted. Um, he was treated poorly. He has a disability. He's mute. He can't speak. And... When he uh, became aggravated um, and tried to communicate with the police, they perceived it as aggression, and they, like, tackled him, basically. They, like, pulled his bike out from under him and tackled him. They said he was trying to flee the scene. Scott says that he did not try to flee the scene. Scott wishes that they would have had video recording because it would have been a lot easier um, for him to, like, you know, say this is what happened and prove it. Uh, there are four squad cars there, and none of them turned their video cameras on. And so, um, you know, it's just obscene. It's, it's ridiculous. And it seems like the police might have trailed him to his house uh, or tra been trailing him on his way home from his regular volunteer shift at one of a, a local organization. So, it's troubling. Whoa. Right. Yeah, we can talk more about that sometime. All right. Well, okay, thanks, Bert. I guess we'll talk to you later. Okay, thanks, Kenny. Bye-bye. Yeah, bye. Pearl Harbor Day, uh, you know, in the war from World War II, and we got bomb there. It was called, uh, Burger, or, uh, McDonald's here. This McDonald's is in, uh, what the, Filger, Filgerville, Filgerville, Silverville, something like that. Texas, it's in Texas. Oh, we can call Murkis either. Huh? Come on, Phil Virgo Verver. Yeah, that's a good approach, Virgo Verver. I don't know if we're going to get to the phone or not. So, Phil Virgo Verver, we're trying to talk to you. Please enter your remote access code. Nope, didn't work. I tried to enter the remote access code. We're here, it's called Marquis. We scheduled to be on the program. Didn't make it. Where'd you go? You've reached Martise Dobler. Sorry, I can't get to the phone right now, but if you leave me your name and number and a brief message, I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you. 
At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. To leave a callback number, press 5. Hey, Martins, you were scheduled to be on the program. Uh, it didn't show up, though, so let's see what's going to happen. Call us back, 330-536-3802. Okay, bye-bye. That was Matisse. Here, call Spring, Texas. Spring, Texas. You ever been to Spring, Texas? McDonald's, how may I help you? Hey, McDonald's, do you guys have those pumpkin pies? I'm sorry? Do you guys have the pumpkin pies? No, we do not have pumpkin pies. Oh, what kind of pies do you guys got right now? We have holiday pies and apple pies. What's a holiday pie? Holiday pie is like a sugar cookie with uh, cream filling inside. Cream filling like a Twinkie? Yes, but it's like a pie. Okay, thank you. Alright, have a great day. Twinkie pies, everybody wants to get some holiday pies. It's got custard in them. It's kind of like a sugar cookie, but with custard. It's not got whipped cream. It's not like a Twinkie. It's not like ice cream. It's custard. It's yellow custard. It's like vanilla custard. Okay, well, let's see. Who's, oh, let's call Aviva. She's supposed to be on here tomorrow. Let's see if she's going to make it. Say, hey, Aviva. Get her for the program tomorrow. Let's see if she'll make it back. Harbor Day. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Aviva Siegel is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Hey, Aviva, you're scheduled to be on the program tomorrow. Uh, let's see if you're going to make it. Uh, you know the number here. Call us back. Uh, you're supposed to be scheduled here at 2 o'clock, so we'll see you then, hopefully. Okay, bye-bye. So let's see if she's going to show up to that. All right. Who knows about Pearl Harbor Day? Oh, what the? Wild Texas McDonald's. Hey, McDonald's, you guys got those pumpkin pies? I'm sorry. Yes? Do you have the pumpkin pies? Uh, no. I don't have any. Oh, what kind do you guys got right now? What kind of pies? I uh have -huh, only apple. It's the apple pies? Oh, okay. Thank you. You work. Oh, extension of our consciousness. Our computer monitor becomes an extension of our consciousness. We act like it's not true, but it is. You, you start to realize it becomes harder and harder to function. YDHWM. 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 Every night, 11.30 p.m. Y 
YDHWM. 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 Every night, 11:30 p.m. All right, here. Let's call Reese. I found out I was watching the show. Reese was the first person I ever called on the program. Answer his phone. Three, leave a message. Please answer your phone. It's the program. Today's Pearl Harbor Day. Okay, bye bye. Who knows about Pearl Harbor Day? We're gonna find we'll find somebody who knows about Pearl Harbor Day. Say, hey, how about Pearl Harbor? Remember that? What do the people know about Pearl Harbor Day? We Angie knows about Pearl Harbor Day. If we can get a uh, keep her into she's wrangling interns at all. I'm sorry, but the person you called has a voice mailbox. You know about Pearl Harbor Day? It's today. Look at the thing, we're gonna find out about Pearl Harbor Day, see who knows. Well, I guess we just remember. Remember. Should have more, more stuff to do. I mean, I guess we're running good enough. Here, let's call Allie's. Call her the. Pearl Harbor Day, what are we going to do for this? We have to do some kind of show. Your call and forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Three. Well, somebody would call find out about um, Pearl Harbor. Say, hey, you know about Pearl Harbor Day? What are we going to do today on this day on Pearl Harbor Day? I don't know what to do for it, really. Something. Dan knows all about things. Who knows about this stuff? Um, these people? Do they know about John Fernelli? John Webb? Or John Whalen, maybe he knows about it. Johnny Breedlove? Possibly. You guys know about that stuff? I don't know anything about it, really. Maybe Mr. Ginsu. Somebody. Somebody has to have some answers. Let's call Rob. Say, hey Rob, what do you think about these protests? Did you get tased? Do you know anybody got tased? Maybe, Ray, maybe Rob knows about tased and getting tased. Mailbox number five zero three eight. Uh, Rob four, did not four, get it. Do your thing, five, Rob. One, please leave your message after the tone. Rob, it's the program. Call us back. Today is a uh, Pearl Harbor Day. Okay, bye bye. So many people know about Pearl Harbor Day, I guess. Pearl Harbor Day special.
Hey, Sharita, that's the program. Hey. How you doing? Hi. I'm good. How are you? Hey, we're doing good. Hey, it's it's Pearl Harbor Day. Oh, really? I didn't know. No, it's for next week. Are you week. celebrating? Next week. Next week's Pearl Harbor Day. Oh. But what are you going to do to celebrate? We do it a week in the bed. You don't celebrate Pearl Harbor Day. Oh. You, you just observe? You observe, yeah. <laughs> Celebrating. Is it just you or do you have a guest? There's no guest today. Oh. Uh, how have you been? You can't schedule. You, you can't. Yeah, you can't celebrate Pearl Harbor Day. <laughs> it's a bad one. Yeah, you're right. It goes down. It's a day that goes into infamy, right? Is that, is that what they say about it? What? They say it's the day that goes down in infamy. Yeah, it's true. What else? I don't know what else. Do we get a day off for, for Pearl Harbor Day? Do I get a day off? No. <laughs> you don't? So, what is. Do you think it's today or it's the next week? Next week. Oh, the whole week? No, well, next, next, next Wednesday. Oh. Well, I usually don't work on Wednesdays like today, so I do get the day off. <laughs> oh, yeah? What are you doing? Um, I was watching The Notebook and drawing and looking at a cookbook, and notebook? I had just a salad. What's on the salad? It was really good. It had, uh, my dad made homemade dressing, and we just put a bunch of crap in it. It was good. <laughs> Is it, was it from the book? Huh? Was it from the book? Your cookbook? Oh, no, it's not from the book. Hey, are they, are they doing the Occupy stuff in Virginia? Yeah, there's like Occupy Charlottesville and people are like living in tents and shit. Are they doing that in Olympia? Yes. Of course. Is that close to where you are? Are you in Charlottesville there? Yeah, I am in Charlottesville. Have you been down there? Um, I like drove past it once well, you didn't and go saw all the tents. You didn't go talk to them? No. Do you, have you talked to the ones in Olympia? Yeah, I've been down there with the show. Oh, really? Yeah, go that check it out. That sounds interesting. Go watch it on the internet. Okay. You didn't. You should What's go down there and Are you supportive of that? Are you supporting that? Um, I I'm inactive. <laughs> are you Are you supporting it? No. Oh. <laughs> I am not. How come? They're taking over the park. I think they're breaking the law. Uh, they're taking away the what? The parks. Oh. I want my I park see. back. It's full of hippies. What? And, my, the park is full of hippies and meth heads now. What? The Occupy movement is hippies and meth heads, did, and they're taking over our parks. Oh, yeah. Um... So, did you see, uh, you didn't see, did anybody get, uh, tasered or anything recently? No, they're not trying to kick them out? They occupy people? Um, I don't think that anyone got tasered. I, I mean, maybe I haven't heard of that. Is, this, is that happening in Olympia? Somebody got tasered, yeah. Oh, well. How's the weather? Is it too hot? Is it, you think it's, it's uh, is it, is it good for the camping people? Um, the weather is, um... It's okay, like, some days are warmer than others. Today is a little bit chilly, but it's definitely better than Olympia. You think it's not too bad to go, to be camping out there? Yeah. It's not too bad. Um, hey, what, what, any, anything else? You see anything on the streets lately? Well, I saw this one woman uh, pee on herself on a park. On a, on a bus bench once. What? When I was waiting for the bus. You watched her do it? Yeah, I think she was drunk. <laughs> what, was that at night? <laughs> what? Was it at night? No, it was in the day. <laughs> what? And all the, like, people, because I, I was at the transit center, and all the people were, like, like, that worked They were, like, she peed with herself, and they called the police, and then the police came up. When I feel like the police came up, my bus came, and I was really upset because I wanted to keep watching and see what happened. Should take the next bus. 
Well, I miss my mother. You were in a hurry? I was with my mom. Uh, I, don't, I don't think she wanted to wait. <laughs> so, <laughs> just for that. <laughs> did you, did, so she was just sitting there, did she say anything or is she just quiet? No. She was quiet. She, and then, and then what, did the pee come out of her pants you saw it, like out of, the, out of her leg? Um, yeah, it was like, and I'm really glad because I almost like sat in the <laughs> before it happened. And that, so, uh, what did she do after the cops came? You didn't see? I didn't see. I, but I, they were probably were arresting her or something for being drunk in public. Was she, would, how do you know she was drunk? Was she like a lazy eyed or something? Or? Did you say a lazy eyed? How did she, how do you know she was drunk? Well, I mean, I'm just assuming because she just like sits there and doesn't say anything and pees on the stuff. And they're still there. Maybe she had a mental problem. What? Maybe she had mental problems. Did she, what, did she look homeless? Um, maybe. Or just maybe that she let herself go. Was she old? Did you say was she ugly? Old. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> she was like middle aged. <laughs> oh, how about Ugg? Was she Ugg? <laughs> she was alright. She had blonde hair. <laughs> alright. Uh, don't pee on yourself. It's a good le- uh, You get arrested. It's illegal. Yeah, that is a good lesson. Don't pee on yourself. <laughs> the cops will come for you. Who called the cops? The bus drivers? Yeah. Did anybody yell? Did you say anybody I know? Did, no, nobody Nobody was mad or nobody got, they're like, why are you doing that? Nobody said that or anything like that? Well, they were talking about her, but nobody, like, said anything to her until the cops came. And she, did she, she didn't even get up? She just sat in her own pee for a long time? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Long enough for them to come and get her. Yeah, she should have got up, but you actually... Saw her and then she would, would, and then she saw her pee and you didn't you didn't just like see her after she had already peed. No, I think I saw her peeing. <laughs> what? I guess that was the first time I've ever seen anybody do that in public. Yeah, I've never seen that happen. That's that's pretty crazy. I saw somebody puke on a bus before. Oh really? Yes. In Seattle. How did it happen? We had to get off the bus. Was was he hungover? I don't know. You gotta look out for that. So you're, are you, is there a lot of crazy things happening on that bus in Virginia? Um, no, but it's mostly like a whole different crowd of people than on the bus. It's mostly just like, cause you know how in Olympia it's mostly like just college young people. And crazy people. On the bus. Yeah. On the bus now, it's here it's mostly just uh, like older black people. Oh. Huh. All right. Well, we have about five minutes left on the show. Call the show. You see anything? If you see anybody pee themselves, call the show. Okay. okay. Well, thanks for having me. Yeah, go on check, the show. Go watch uh, the uh, Occupy Olympia episode. Okay. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Maybe I don't know. Go look at the okay. And uh, maybe you, you go talk to the those uh those Occupy people in Virginia and tell us what they're thinking. Okay. I'll go interview them for you. Oh, great. Okay, thanks. Bye-bye. Bye. So we're going to call Georgetown, Texas. Yeah, Georgetown's good.
McDonald, what are you doing? Where, where's the, the thing? We're not going to know what to do. We're not going to know what to eat, McDonald. I need to know what to eat. Uh oh, we don't even know what to eat next. Donald's not helping. McDonald's, we need some help. Well, let's call the next one. This one's in Sweetwater, Texas. Sweetwater. Jack, I can help you. Hey, McDonald's, you guys have the pumpkin pies? I'm sorry? You guys have the pumpkin pies? No, sir. Oh, what kind of pies do you guys have around? Cherry and apple. Two regular ones, oh, okay, thank you. I'm sorry? Uh, thank you. It's in the show, everybody. Yeah, here it is. The countdown, the big countdown. We're doing the countdown. We know when the show's done, and we can get uh, can finish the show here. Thanks, everybody. Bye bye. That's it. It's the show. Here we are. Thank you, YouTube. Thanks Facebook, thanks Twitter. Yeah, this is the time when we're, what, what day it is when we're doing the thing there, so. Get that one going. Thanks viewers. Thanks TCTV. Thanks the baby. Hell yeah, dog! Hell yeah! Bye bye again every day, once a day. Bye bye.